<laughs> Coffee cheers. So good. So good. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are in the world, whatever you are up to. Hello, I'm Catherine Oster, and welcome to this week's edition of Coffee Chat. <laughs> hey, Karen, good morning. Good morning, Mom. Hi, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me live today. So I titled this chat, What Money Can't Buy. I actually went on this 10, no, it was a five month adventure with a group of people where we really dove into money and the points of view we have about it. And what grew out of this series is the realization that what is more valuable in our lives are the things that money can't buy you, such as happiness, joy, Yes, you can spend money on things that will possibly contribute to that. So for example, horses really bring me happiness and joy and horse showing. But if I'm not, if I don't cultivate that energy for myself within myself, regardless of whether I have horses or I'm showing or not, it's still not going to be there. Money can't buy it for you, you know? Like, and how that showed up for me in my life was there were things that I wanted, things that I said, if I could just have this, I will be so happy. And what would show up is I would get that or have that. There was no happiness that came along with it because what was really true is that I wasn't choosing the happiness. So nothing can bring you or give you happiness and joy. It's something you have to learn to choose within yourself and for yourself. And then yes, there are experiences and things that will, when you buy them can add to that, but you have to start with that. And that's what we really got to. Plus another thing is health. <clears throat> Money cannot buy you a strong, healthy body that is full of vitality and life. Money cannot buy you that. Money, you can use your money to contribute to that. So you can purchase supplements or, you know, go for massage chiropractor treatments. You can um, use your money on things that can help that. But at the end of the day, if you're not, now this, if you're not really, if you are choosing it from judgment and not from, the space and the future that a strong body can create, then chances are whatever you you are doing isn't really gonna create that because it really comes down to the energy. Um, and one of the things, so I think I talked about this before on previous coffee chats, but if you haven't heard me talk about it, one of the things that I've been choosing is fasting. Um, it's so amazing to me, actually. So there's just been a few close people in my life that have had cancer over the last year. And I have just seen them, you know, going through their chemo treatments and different things like that. And it really kind of opened my eyes. Like I used to kind of think, oh, that's not going to happen to me. But it really, I really got vulnerable with it. And I'm like, you know, it could actually happen to me. So what steps can I take right now? to change that. And I don't even remember how. So I actually was choosing intermittent fasting like a couple of years ago, but it was from the energy that my body was too fat and that there was something wrong with my body. And I was choosing it just strictly to shrink my body. And it didn't really do a thing, actually. Um, and I really kind of even a few years ago, I was like, I need to know more about this. Like I knew that there was some more substantial vital information about it. And so I don't even remember how it came across. Oh, I remember my Pilates instructor. That's who that was. So this last year, I've been also doing Pilates. That's a whole other story. But the energy behind the Pilates is to strengthen my body so I can be a better 
rider, dressage rider. And if I really want to, like I say, hey, good morning, Colleen, you're live. Um, like I've been saying, I really want to, one of my dreams is to, to train and ride a Grand Prix dressage test. And I really had to get serious with myself and be like, if this is something I really want to do, well, what am I, what can I choose with my body to actually make that a reality? And then my friend told me about Pilates and this really great instructor in Lloydminster. And so the rest is history. More on the Pilates story later. But that's from the choice of not because my body's wrong and it can't and it needs to be a different shape or size. It's like from the energy of contribution, like this is going to actually contribute to me having that dream come to fruition, so to speak. Anyway, it was Stephanie who put me on to who fasting and she told me about Dr. Mindy Pels and she's like, Catherine, you should watch this video. And I'm like, okay. And the rest is history. She, Dr. Mindy Pels writes a book, Fast Like a Girl, which um, I read during harvest time. And there's so much information about what fasting can do for your body and how as you go through different stages of fasting, like how after 12 hours with no food, your body metabolically switches from a sugar burning machine to a fat burning machine. And <clears throat> how fat, your body actually stores all of the toxins that it has taken out of whatever you've ingested or absorbed through your skin and stores it in the fat. But when you do fasting, your body, when it burns that fat, it starts to release those toxins, making it a healthier body. Um, and so there are things that I started learning about, like you really want to make sure your lymphatic system is working and up to par. And there are things you can do to make your lymphatic system stronger, like dry brushing and um, getting a lymphatic drainage massage and um, a liver detox because the liver is part of liver and kidneys are part of your your lymphatic detox system. Um, so as your body's releasing these toxins, they can be eliminated. Otherwise, they stay in your body. And then that's after 12 hours. After 17 hours of fasting, your body starts to go into autophagy, meaning that it itself starts cleaning up all of the cells that are not strong anymore, all of the cells that are diseased, and um, your body does that itself. And then after 24 hours of fasting, your gut microbiome starts to change. So all the bacteria that was feeding on the sugar and really initiating those cravings, like they start to die off. And then the microbiome, other microbiome, like flourishes. And then after 48 hours and 36 hours, like she said that the 36 hour fast is the, the belly fat burning fast if like 36 hours really targets the belly fat and I'm like that's what I want to go after <laughs> and so so learning about my body the last couple of months and how fasting has so many benefits having that information and that knowledge has made my intention with fasting like so much more stronger and it and when I'm not fasting I still eat what I like. I still love to have spaghetti and meat sauce and I still like to eat, you know, chocolates, but I don't, it's funny because I still have those, but I'm not as much like it's so cool. And what has actually evolved for me over the last, since September. So I haven't been weighing myself because number, I just didn't want to make it about the number, but I have been measuring my belly fat because that's something, you know, that's the shrinkage, the releasing of toxins. And I have actually shrunk down three inches <clears throat> belly fat since September fasting and my fasting ranges. So I will do 36 hours and then, and then have an eating window of 12 hours where I really just have whatever I want to. And it's funny because as I'm coming off of a fast, I start thinking about all the things I want to have and food starts to taste better. Like, it's more exuberant and lively. And then I'll go into another 36 hour fast and then I'll do um, a 12 hour eating window a couple of times. And I've even done my target because Dr. Mindy Pels, in the research that she has done, if you can do two 
72 hour fasts a year. So that's three days, just a water fast. In the fasting period, you can have black coffee, tea, black tea, um, water. She recommends like mineral water and electrolyte sticks. Anyway, um, so my target was to do one 72 hour fast before the end of 2023. And I was, would try to like plan when I was going to do this fast and it never really worked. And then I thought, well, I just kind of left it. Like I didn't make a big deal out of it. And then lo and behold, a few weeks ago, just before I went to Lake Lenore to facilitate foundation, bars and foundation, I, it just happened. I was like, just going to do a 36 hour fast. And then I was feeling like a little head coldy, sinusy, and I wasn't really tasting food anyway. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go 48 hours. So I went 48 hours and then I'm getting up to 48 hours. I'm like, I think I'm going to do 72. And I'm like, I'm going to do 72. I'm going to go another day. Like, yes. And it was just, the energy was so there. And that was a whole other experience in itself. Very cool. Um, <clears throat> and it felt really good. And, um, and so, yeah, so, and I, and I will go like a week or 10 days and just kind of eating whatever I want to. And then, uh, and cause you're actually, what Dr. Mindy Pels talks about in Fast Like a Girl is how to become aware of your cycle. And even if you're a non menstruating woman in menopause, there are still things you can need to be aware of how, so you're working with the hormones of your body. Um, and so there are, there's a period of about, seven days where there's no fasting because your body has higher progesterone and that requires different foods to support that hormone system. So, you know, maximum fast is 12 hours. So in that window, I just do whatever I want to. It's so exciting. And, and you know what, it's easier. So, so the intention behind the fasting for me is healthier, stronger body, more energy. Um, whereas, and I know well, there's all these other amazing things going on in my body at the same time. Like if I'm going into, you know, a 36 hour fast and I'm getting to 24 hours and I'm like kind of hungry, but then I'll just wait a second. No, Catherine, this is what your body is doing right now. And it's so brilliant. And let's let that process continue for another 12 hours. You can do this. That's what I tell myself because I have like knowledge is power. Um, and, um, where else was I going? Oh yeah. <laughs> so many things. So, so, and it's also easier for me to not eat anything like nothing rather than have to think I have to spend the rest of my life, not eating sugar, not having some chocolate, not putting my delicious creamer in my coffee because it has too high fat and too high sugar. Like that doesn't really sit well. I never really liked that. Like it never felt sustainable to me. So it was never effective. And before there were diets that I would do, but from the energy of judgment from that, my body is too fat, that it needs to be strong to smaller. And those were always hard. And then the weight would always come back even more. And I could see where I wasn't working with my body. I wasn't, um, you know, aware of the hormones and the cycles and what the hormones needed. And, uh, and it was so frustrating. And then I would just get so pissed off. And so the fasting has totally been a game changer for me. And, and you hear me talk about it. The energy is like, I love it. It makes me so happy. And so in fact, I'm wearing like a sweater today and a pair of jeans that did not fit in September. And um, I didn't go into this fast like with that, just a, that one target. It's but that's just a side effect of getting a stronger body. And so the fasting has been fucking phenomenal. There are things that money cannot buy you and health is one of them. And the cool thing about fasting is it doesn't cost you any money. Like it's something you can do on your own. You don't have to buy any fancy supplements or any expensive pills. It's no cost and it doesn't take any extra time. That was the other thing I hated when I would do these other meal plans was the time it took to meal prep. Oh my God, it almost killed me. Fasting takes no time because you don't have to do anything. <laughs> There's no meal prepping. It's so, so good and it just fits in so well for me. So if you're hearing me talk about this and you want to learn more for yourself about it, 
Um, I'll put Dr. Mindy Pels' website with this video after, and I highly recommend checking out her book and the videos, and so that. All right. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Have an amazing day. Um, if there's any, if you want to share this video, that would be awesome. And um, if you have any questions or comments, reach out, send me a message, and I will see you later. Bye-bye for now.